The Norn Gum is the kind of guy you don't see very often playing Canadian University basketball. There's a lot of upside in this young man. Uh, a unique player. You know, he came down to UConn and Ryerson yeah. for his services. That, that's really amazing that Ryerson was able to get a, a player of this caliber and especially to get him away from UConn. He's from Dakar, Senegal. I guess it's just me because I grew up there, but like I have a special attachment to that place. Like I, I can't wait to go back there. Like man, it's a it's a beautiful country to be honest. Like it's a, it's a beautiful city. People are super nice over there. You know, you won't meet anybody in the street that won't want to help you. He's a pre pretty unique uh, kid in that he's able to adapt pretty quickly. You know, his uh, language skills are impressive. He's uh, fluent in multiple languages. I first went to France. Um, but like, my dad didn't really like it there. He didn't like the setting, I was too far from family and everything. And after that, I went to the States, I went to Ohio. You know, we went to Madrid and, you know, they didn't like me, I wasn't good enough apparently. And then we went to Malaga and then kind of clicked over there and I stayed there for, for the whole school year, so like for one year. And then I went to Germany for two years. And after, after Germany, you know, I went back to Senegal, met Coach Rana, and here I am. Goldwire with a drive and coming over to swat it away is Ngam using all of that 7'6 wingspan. He's, uh, you know, a significant contributor on both ends of the floor. His size, his length is pretty rare at our level. And, you know, his ability to impact uh, shots in the paint, chain shots, uh, rebound above the rim out of his area is uh, significant contributors to our defense. Uh, my personal goal would be defensive player of the year. Because me being 7'2 and being as uh, mobile as I am, I feel like that's like an obtainable goal. Offensively, having uh, somebody with his size and skill set and touch, um, you know, he's a difficult matchup for opposing teams and uh, he's continuing to expand and get more comfortable on that end. Yeah, and just being smarter about, about the game, to be honest. I just have so much more knowledge now, thanks to Coach Rana. Like, he calls me into his office to watch film. You know, I see things that I wouldn't normally see on the floor. And I'm just like, oh, I think I'll go hard, but then I look at myself and I'm like, wow, I really was not going hard, you know? And their lineup will evolve once Jones and Reddish get healthy. Good take. Oh, and God throws it down. That was like a statement for me. This is our city. I mean, it was a do tour, Canada tour, or whatever. So I guess that's, I guess that's why like their logo was on the basketball, or whatever. But like that, that didn't rub me the right way. I didn't, I didn't like that. So when I dunked that ball, I made sure to put a little flair on that, you know. And like, yeah, I, I really like that. Tenor's like a little brother to me, man. It's not even his first time being away from home, uh, that far away. It's not like I'm away from home, but it's like 45 minutes away. He's, he's another continent, and he's been doing that since he was like 15. You know, being 15 years old, turning 16, and like being away from your mom, it's just like, it's hard. It's not easy. My first like three weeks uh, in Spain, I was like, I was good, you know? And then I texted my dad, I was like, yo dad, I really want to come home and see you guys. Because again, I'm 15, turning 16, you know, I'm, I'm still young. At the end of my visit to Senegal, I was supposed to take my flight that, that night. And he called me in his room and he was like, yo, you, st you told me that you wanted to do this. So you have, to, you have to make the sacrifices. If it is not coming home for a year, you won't come home for a year. But you told me that you had a vision and you know what you want to do and you love this sport. So like, you might cry, but you have to keep fighting. You have to keep working hard, basically. I think he has a goal. I think a goal that most of us never even dreamed about. With the sacrifices he's making of not being home, not seeing his parents during the holidays like we do, it shows It shows how, how dedicated he is to, to making it making uh, his dreams come true. I made too many sacrifices. I've came such a long way to just like settle for anything less. I, I work too hard. If it's hard work that's gonna take me there, I, I'm, I know I'm working hard enough, so I, I'm just keep working and like the results are gonna come. Hopefully the NBA.